the next topic that I wanted to talk about, which is Deep Speed uh -huh. and all your work that you've been doing on that, because it feels like Deep Speed helps out with pre and post training, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, right now we also do quantization. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so there you go. It's like the trifecta. And can you explain to people what Deep Speed is? Uh, I think we can call Deep Speed like a third party library based on PyTorch. Uh, what we did is that uh, we suppose some new features that PyTorch doesn't have previously. The most important one is called the zero optimizer. Basically, it's like a data parallel training uh, paradigm, but uh, it is very memory efficient. Differ from like traditional data parallel training that each GPU need to maintain the whole model parameter. In zero strategy, uh, each GPU only maintain a portion of the whole model parameter. And uh, when one specifically need to do some computation, every GPU do all gather or do a, like a recollect of the weights from other GPUs to finish this layer's compute and then just erase or dump this layer's weight. Once we need to call the computation on this layer again, we do all gather again on the weights across the GPU. So it's memory efficient. That's a huge performance gain compared with vanilla PyTorch because in PyTorch previously it doesn't support such memory efficient data parallel training paradigm. And the right now they, they just uh, doing something similar called FSDP, which is similar as zero and but it's a PyTorch native library. Uh, this is one big piece and the other thing we did is we do some kind of data offloading to further release memory pressure on the GPU side. So if a chunk of data doesn't need to compute at the moment, we move it from GPU memory back to CPU memory, such that we have more GPU memory to use for other computation. And after we need to compute uh, some tensors on the CPU set, we just move it back to GPU memory and do the compute. Once we get the results, we move it uh, back uh, to CPU memory to save the memory. 